you sitting there playing video games with no goal in life other than to win the match you're playing <sighs> since nobody expects anything of you all you do is enjoy life quote unquote eat what you want play what you want wake up and sleep whenever you want you don't have to go outside there are no requirements to be polite to people or to generally become a good person because everything you need in life in your opinion you've already got but in the end nothing comes without a cost everything that you have to enjoy now you'll have to pay in the future you not becoming anything and not trying to make anything of yourself will make you pay in the future because as i said in my last video nothing gets better it's only it only gets worse and as much as pessimistic it would be it is the truth it is the truth you don't want to believe it is the truth that you've either already considered or you never actually thought of and doesn't matter on which side you would be on the one who already considered it or didn't i call you to consider it i call you to try and understand it i call you to look inside you and find a reason you want to enjoy all of this and if you have a titanium like reason to be doing this you don't have to change anything just keep doing what you do but if however you feel like there is no apparent reason for you to be doing what you're doing just for the sake of pleasure want to not do it want to do something want to make something and as cringy as it sounds what i'm saying uh, straight up contradicting what i told you in my last video it doesn't matter as i already mentioned in the last video too it does not matter whether you'll choose something or not whether you will be procrastinating all of your childhood away and be just consuming and wasting your brain away because nothing will change unless you find a bedrock type like reason to actually do something that's what most people struggle with that's what you struggle with you don't know what you have to do to make yourself believe that some other way of living would be actually much more beneficial to you because all your brain keeps thinking of is dopamine is pleasure is satisfaction but this is all just shallow thoughts they're fleeting as much as as civilians in the world were too when their city got attacked or in more recent events as well they're always going to be such these moments of you actually feeling good are always going to be fleeting 
but all that makes the actual difference will be what kind of these fleeting moments they will be. They may be fleeting moments of you getting pleasure from watching a kid's cartoon filled with animation, filled with stimulation, visual, audio, and subconscious as well. Anime, stimulation with food, video games, which are so much more fun than real life, because things that aren't able to happen in real life happen there, and you can become total, something totally else, someone totally another. What I'm saying at this point is that you cannot change anything, and your surroundings choose everything that you will be. If you were, if you were grown in a family of people who don't eat much, you're most probably going to be small in height, you will be underdeveloped, and most of the time you will be spending behind a computer. Or if you were grown up in a family which eats a lot of protein, eats a lot of milk, well, rather drinks, or eats like cheese or cottage cheese, or yogurt, also drinks, you are most probably going to be tall. People, since you were always tall, people were most likely to come themselves to you and actually ask you about something, because just by the strength of circumstances, you happen to be brought up in a family with a diet designed to make people tall when they are developing. And such, you probably have a much better social life just by the circumstances alone. And you're most probably also the most outstanding person anywhere you go. Only if there will be another tall person there who also got the same circumstances as you and was brought up in a similar family as you. You were actually in the field of feeling what it feels like to be average. What it feels like to see others succeed where you almost always thought you are the only one who can succeed there and see yourself be left behind. These are the experiences I think people get too many of nowadays. You would say that it, it doesn't work like that. You would say that my friend plays video games all day long and he's much taller than I am. He has good grades in school and not like his parents are special. You know, one saying that says, outstanding people remain outstanding anywhere they go. One guy on the street may not seem any out of ordinary, but when you see him in action, when you see him doing something, you understand, damn, he is such a nice person. He is much happier than I am. He can do so much more than I can. So many other things. And anywhere he goes, he's always better than I am at whatever thing there is. He can eat more than I do and still not get fat. 
He can do math much better than I do, and he haven't even finished school yet. He can speak many more languages than I do, even though he never focused on them in particular. Why is that? Because some people are just outstanding. Those people who were brought up by outstanding parents. Nothing is really able to change because of you. You are wholeheartedly a result of your parenthood. Even me. Why do I think about these things? Why do I tell you all of this? Why am I asking you these questions? It's because my surroundings were of my mother, who never gave me any answers of any questions I asked her, so I needed to come up with my own. And so are you as well the result of your parenthood, of your family, of the society you were a part of in the most crucial moment of your life. It is all there is to it. All we can do, all you can do, is just decide what can we do with whatever we got from our parents and simply those who have got something from their parents which would allow them, for example, to succeed in a grandious career, can do it. But those who didn't, cannot. It's simply the question of someone having something other doesn't. And it's not about you being lazy, it's not about you being bad. It's not about you being disgusting. It's not about you being ugly. No. It's about your parents being the way they are. We all are defined by our families. Those people who were brought up in a family in which a man figure or even mother figure where, for example, is disrespected anywhere and were offended by this would mean that their child, also seeing them as, the, as his examples, would do the same thing. He would also be offended when someone, for example, called his mother ugly or called his father lazy or called him him, someone who isn't normal, or someone who is ugly, or someone who is stupid. It's so obvious that it does not make sense to most people. It's so, so plain sight, like information, that no, nobody ever sees it. That nobody can comprehend that it works like this. Wow, am I really just a result of what my family does? After all those years of me learning English, of me learning to play guitar, of me getting good grades, of me failing at school. It wasn't me who failed, it was my family. Because it was not me who brought me to this world. It was them. It was the outside circumstances that made up my life in the first place. I wouldn't have a soul, I wouldn't have in the mind, I wouldn't have my body, if not for the decision of my parents. This one moment defines your whole life. The moment you were conceived. The moment they decided to bring someone to life. You. 
So basically what I'm saying is, whatever, whatever, wherever you are, whatever you do, you are ugly, not because of you being ugly. You're malnourished, not because you malnourished yourself. Because your parents did. Because your family did. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Because you cannot change it. And now that you know it, it will just become the part of your past. But you will be able to see this past much clearer. More reasoning. More reasons to accept it. I know. And the more time you will just give it, the more time you'll think about it, the more time you will actually remind yourself of it. Not on purpose, just by accident. Recurring to all those times your family fed you something. Your family decided to treat you or to give you a treat. And your family decided to make something special to you. Now you will be able to understand how this defined you. Now you will know the answer to the question. Why am I the way I am? Simply bringing this answer to you. Brings a lot of joy to me. And you may not understand it at the time. But the more time passes, the more you will notice this yourself. Or not, actually. Because if your parents didn't raise you the certain way to, for example, be able to lower your ego to the extent to actually be able to comprehend what the outlandish, as society says, beliefs like this one really mean something, then you just simply wouldn't be able to comprehend what this means. And you would be lost in confusion. What is he saying? Why is he saying this? Is he sick? Is he crazy? Do you know the guy who makes videos about sitting and smiling for four hours? Nobody can get why he's doing this. There can be a lot of reasoning. And yet he's just sitting and smiling. But at the same time, other people on the internet call him crazy. Call him sick. Say in the comments up under his videos that he needs help. And nobody can even guess that he actually does this for a purpose. You cannot understand anything. Or rather, everything. So just accept it. Just accept the fact you are not who you want to be and it will not change anything even if you were to stop playing video games even if you were to start eating healthy or if you were to stop watching porn and masturbating you are the way you are because of what made up your family and what your family made up of you. So obvious, nobody gets it. Think about it. Change is a bliss in any shape or form. And procrastination is a curse in any way or form. <laughs>